Hi everybody, Steph here and today what we're going to do um, we're going to try and show you how to service a Schaefer Triumph vac, uh, vac filler fountain pen. Now as you can see to save time what I've actually done, I've actually dismantled the whole pen. Um, let's start from the top. Um, the nib section here comes out of this little black section here. Now You've got to be very, very careful because if you try and unscrew it or if you don't do it right, this particular plastic section will break off. So in my particular case, what I've actually done, I've soaked it, soaked it overnight, soaked it um, in a solution of uh, water and ammonia. Keep on soaking it. Um, when we eventually unscrewed the nib section, um, what we had is we had the remnants of what looked like a rosin based sealant um, on the thread here and inside the thread here. So ladies and gentlemen you've got to be very very careful you've got to keep soaking soaking apply heat soaking soaking apply heat and as I say in my particular case here um, it was a solution of water and ammonia. Um, what also we have at the end of the barrel here, uh, you can see you can see all the way through here. Um, inside the barrel here, we had this little plug, if you like, here, um, which actually sits inside the barrel here. There's actually a little lip just to the bottom of the barrel, and it sits against that particular lip inside. Again, soak, 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 and more soak. And apply a bit of heat to actually help to get that particular plug out um, what I actually used is um, this particular dowel here which you can actually see goes all the way through the pen so you have to actually get a little bit of a dowel to help it to knock 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 the plug out now inside the plug what you'll actually find um, I've got them here somewhere this is actually the remnants of what was actually inside the um, the vac plug, if you like, to the end of the barrel. You can actually, hopefully you can see, um, you've got a little felt washer here. There was a rubber washer underneath that which had just totally deteriorated, so I couldn't actually show you. Um, but I'm hoping you can actually see that. You've got a rubber washer to the top there, uh, and just below it, again, another another felt washer so that's what's actually inside this little plug here so if we pop that inside to the top of all that ladies and gentlemen um, what's that sits on top of the plug is this little plastic washer here okay now that plastic washer sits well inside here you have all the the packing etc and this washer sits on top of that little plug there Okay, we have to reuse that particular washer, so do not lose it. Now, what I've actually done, um, when you actually take the plug out, what you need to do, I use these, um, these crochet needles here. And once you've taken the plug out, what you need to do is delve inside and basically just pick away um, at all the, uh, the, felt, the felt washers, the rubber washers, etc. until you get them all out and then clean all the inside of this little plug. Now once you've actually cleaned that, which I've actually already done again to save time, what you can actually buy are actually these these rubber washers here. Okay, now this is a replacement washer for the Schaefer Triumph um, plunger filling system if you like. So I've got one of these little washers here and again, to save time, I've actually, um, it, well, nice and simply, I've actually glued it into place inside. And what I've actually used is I've used a, um, a rubber cement. Now, as I say, I've applied rubber cement to the inside there. I've pushed down on the new rubber washer. Again, using a dowel just to make sure it's, it's nice and tight. And what I actually do, I apply a little bit of uh, the rubber cement um, above the washer. Um, and I don't know if you can actually see it, but what I've actually already done is I've applied um, some silicon grease to the hole and just to the top of the washer as well. So that is all ready now to be 
to be installed into the pen. Okay, whoops a daisy. Again, don't don't lose anything. Um, the mechanism of the pen, this is the plunger rod. Now, when I took this out, it had a rubber washer to the top here, which again had totally, totally disintegrated. So I can't show it to you, it just simply powdered away. So what we need to do is replace or put another washer on top. Now what I'll try and do, um, we'll actually try and show you actually how to do that. So what we need to do is simply unscrew this little um, black top. This is the, the new washer that we're going to be replacing it with. Um, and what I actually do is use a little bit of little bit of shellac. And I'm trying to do this as sort of quickly as possible, ladies and gentlemen, because I don't really want to make the um, the video an epic. So what we need to do, there's the washer. Again, apply the washer. To, to the little stopper there if you like. Again just apply a little bit more shellac to the thread. Okay now if we put that to one side so we don't. And at this point now what we need to do is just get the uh, the little stopper, plastic stopper or whatever you would like to term it and we just simply screw it back onto onto this like so okay and what I'll actually do is just give it a little turn with the with the pliers nice and gently okay so I'm like I say I'm working over the camera so it's going to be it's a little bit difficult um so there we have it there's the in fact if you just bear with me ladies and gentlemen I'm just going to go behind the camera to tighten it up slightly Okay, there we go. So that looks a little bit better. So that now has got a new, brand new washer um, to the plunger, to the plunger rod. So that is ready now to go back into into the pen. Now, before we put that in, <coughs> excuse me. What we need to do is put this plastic washer, which is, <coughs> excuse me, the top of the plug there inside the barrel here. Now I don't know if you can actually see it. No, it's a little bit difficult to show you, but just inside the bottom of the barrel here there's a little ridge, okay? Um, this plastic washer will sit against that, that little ridge inside. Now what I'm actually going to do ladies and gentlemen, because it's a little bit of a fiddly job, I need to just apply a tidgy widgy bit of shellac to that little ridge inside and then basically push this little washer back into the barrel here so it sits nice and flush against that little ridge inside there. Okay again let's try and show if we can show it to you. It's a little bit difficult. Okay so what I'm going to do I'm just going to stop the video at this point and we'll pop back in two minutes uh, once I've done that off camera because as I say it's a little bit fiddly doing it in front of the camera so I'll be back in just one moment. Okay, so uh, what we've actually done, we've uh, replaced the um, the washer inside the barrel here. Um, well, basically, you can see that it's got a smaller hole now. So, what we've done, we've put a plastic washer. As I say, there's a little ridge around the uh, bottom of the barrel here, and we've used the dowel to press it down. Added a tiny little bit of shellac to the edge, um, and it's now sitting nicely against that little ridge inside there. So what we need to do now is put this little plug um, back into the barrel here. Um, just to reiterate what I've already, I've already done, um, I've put a new rubber washer in there, I've applied rubber cement inside, um, I've left it overnight um, so it's, it's dried nicely, I'm, well I'm hoping, and what I've also done, I've applied some um, silicon um, grease into the hole there for the rod to go through. So now what we need to do, um, again I'm going to get the shellac and I just use a simple little toothpick here and just get a little bit of shellac and basically what I'm going to do is just cover 
just the end of the barrel here with well which is hopefully a little um, a light covering of shellac so we'll put that to one side now because this is actually quite tight when it goes in at this point what I'm actually going to do I'm going to bring in my hair dryer and so I'm hoping all this doesn't blow away but um, what I'm actually going to do I'm hoping you can see you have to just bear with me ladies and gentlemen while I'm doing this but as you can see all I'm doing is heating heating the end of the barrel and as I'm heating it I'm turning I'm turning the barrel constantly just checking with my fingers as well when I actually feel it yep okay let's let's try that now we get the bung here and there we go and there it is inside and if we just press it all the way home that looks lovely okay so there we have it ladies and gentlemen so hopefully by the time it sort of cools down hopefully it might shrink a little bit and make it nice and tight but the shellac um, will hold it into place there in fact what I'll actually do Let's put the barrel in like that. We'll give it a few turns so that the shellac gives it a nice a nice coating. Okay, so what I'm going to do again at this point, ladies and gentlemen, because I've applied shellac and I want that to dry, um, I want it to dry before I actually put the rod through through the plug there. So again, I'm sorry about this, but I'm going to actually um, pop back in. In fact, just before, I, while we're letting that dry, let me just show you the uh, the plunger knob here. Um, this is the plunger knob here, and the plunger rod actually just screws into a plastic thread inside there. Now, on some of these pens, uh, there's actually an aluminium ret retaining screw just inside here. On this one, there isn't. It's just a I'm open. there you go you can see it a bit better there it's just a plastic sort of thread inside um, where the rod screws screws inside okay so we just thought we'd show you that um, again I'm going to pop back in a moment let's let that shellac dry for a while um, and we'll pop back and put the um, the plunger rod through the barrel so I'll be back in a moment Alright, okay, we're back again now, so, uh, right, to save a little bit of time, because, uh, again, it's, get, it's getting a bit too long, this, what I've actually done, um, I've actually pushed the rod inside the barrel uh, through the plug at the end, and as you can see, the rod is now installed. Um, what we actually did before we pushed it through, we just applied a little bit of grease to the rod here, and what I've also done, applied just a... A little, just a tidgy widgy bit of grease inside the barrel inside there and if we just if actually just be quiet for a moment then hopefully you can we've done a little test just I'll shut up now okay so you can actually hear the little popping sound there and you can actually hear the the piston actually uh, or the plunger, should I say, sucking in. Okay, so what I've actually done, I've actually tested it on, I'm not going to do it on front of the camera because the way I've actually I've got a setup, but if you put it on your tongue and pull it out, it actually sticks to to your tongue with the, uh, with the pressure. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let, let's get on with it because it's, uh, as I say, we're getting on a bit now. Right, what we need to do now is just um, screw the the rod into the um, the rod cap if you like and again what I'm actually going to do at this particular point um, whether people agree with me on this particular one I don't know but just I like to just to give it a touch a touch of shellac at the end there and what we do is insert it into the the if you like plunger knob Okay, so as far as it'll go there, 
and then what we actually do here if I just get my there's actually a little notch inside um, inside the plunging knob and what I actually do is get my um, Parker 65 collector removal tool and if we actually just feel for it just bear with me a second it's again a little bit difficult over the camera there she goes it's just gone in there and if I get oh dear where are we I'm not actually very well prepared here right, that's come out so let's do that again just feel for it just to sit into there it is so if we hold that in place like that and just give it a little just to give it a little turn and that should be fine ladies and gentlemen okay and that screws on fine like so so if we take the tools to pop them to one side now all we're left to do now ladies and gentlemen is to put the nib back into the section um, and for this what I actually use again is my silicone grease and a little toothpick so what I actually do and again you just have to bear with me because I'm working over the camera but I'm hoping you can see this so what I'm doing is just applying uh, silicone grease to the threads okay it doesn't matter at this point if it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing because all we're actually doing is applying the grease uh, to make a seal inside now what we do is simply present that to the the section keep a tight hold and there's some resistance there so what I like to do is use this piece of um, tire inner tube and grip grip the nib and there you go you can actually hear it turning into place just give it that one little turn um, if we get the tissue here remove the excess grease okay from uh, from the nib pop that to one side and there we have it ladies and gentlemen if we get the cap put the cap back onto onto the pen and what we'll do we'll pop that down um, in fact I'm just going to take that off um, I'm going to prepare myself because I'm not preparing myself with the pad and the ink so what I'm going to do I'm going to pump, pop back for the one more last time and we'll show you the pen working okay finally we've put all the pen back together now uh, we've just given it a lovely little polish as well it's in absolutely superb condition and what it is ladies and gentlemen this is a Schaefer Triumph um, well vac filler it's a golden bar brown styrated uh, barrel and I don't know if you could actually see from before um, but it's got lovely transparency um, lovely transparency to the barrel here so you can actually see as well as you've seen we've cleaned it all out what it also has is this large uh, cap band here and a gold well it's a gold filled cap band and this Schaefer gold filled uh, clip to the top and right to the top of the clip there you can see the um, the white Schaefer well the white dots okay um, if we take the sorry if we take the the cap off let's show you the pen side by side here ladies and gentlemen um, what you'll see to the top it has this conical uh, Schaefer lifetime nib and what it actually says on the nib as a, um, it actually says Schaefer lifetime uh, registered part office uh, made in USA 14 14 karat gold and to the back there we've got the the feed and you can see it's got this metal uh, thread ring here for the for the cap okay um, the barrel imprint incidentally again if we can show you that I don't know if you, if you can actually see that um, but what the barrel imprint actually reads um, it actually says WA Schaefer Pen Company, Fort Madison, Iowa, USA um, and then made in USA underneath that. 
So a beautiful pen ladies and gentlemen and after the, doing the service um, let's try and do a paint sorry not a paint sample a writing sample so we've got the pad um, we've got the ink and I don't know if you people are aware the pen as with um, a lot of plunger fillers fills on the downward stroke so what we do uh, we pull out the the piston rod or the plunger rod dip the um, the nib into the ink and we simply just press down and what I'll try and do I'll try and be quiet to see if you can actually hear the uh, the pen filling okay so I'm hoping you heard that ladies and gentlemen that lovely plopping or plunging sound which tells us that everything looks fine and I don't know if you can actually see it ladies and gentlemen we can actually see plenty of ink sorry <laughs> we can actually see plenty of ink in the pen there so there's absolutely no problem with the pen it looks it looks fine and it's working so we can actually see the ink in the barrel there so let's let's do a writing sample so what we have is a Schaefer um, and this pen is a Triumph okay the pen is from in the region of 1940 this particular pen ladies and gentlemen is writing with well the only thing I can describe it as um, is an extra fine nib okay so it's quite it's quite smooth actually but it is writing with a very a very fine line so the nib on this particular one well if there's such thing I would say extra fine so there's a writing sample um, what we'll actually do at this point, I don't do this normally, but let's let's sort of take the piston out again. We'll pull that up all the way out. And let's I don't know if you can hear this. There we go. You could actually uh, I don't know if you could hear the ink actually going back into into the ink bottle there. So as far as the pen's concerned, after doing that service, everything's ticky to boo, ladies and gentlemen. So let's put the cap back on. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. A beautiful golden brown styrated uh, Schaefer Triumph. Uh, we've shown you how to service the pen, so I'm, hope, I'm hoping that'll give you a guide um, how to do it. But as I said before, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not if you're not confident actually doing this, then please don't try it at home because it takes a lot of soaking, heat, etc. And it is a bit of a fiddly job, and if you don't get it right, <coughs> excuse me, you will break certain parts of the pen. And if you, well, basically, if, you, if you're not happy, send it to somebody who knows what they're doing. So I hope this this uh, video has been informative, and uh, go on my YouTube channel. There's plenty of videos there you can look at. Leave some comments, and uh, till next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll just simply say bye bye for now.